Doing the Christmas music. It is Christmas summons. Early in December. I would have waited till Christmas. <clears throat> but the summon event is ending today. And I do not want to miss out on the 20,000 crystals. 4,000. I don't know. A lot of crystals. So we're doing some summons. I've been saving for. Uh, what is it like three weeks I've done all of my quests on all three characters and it's pretty much uh, scrolls from those three quests as well as a lot of events I've been saving until I have 200 of these mystical scrolls so 189 here and a few more here so I could get the fire raven my fire raven baby uh, who I intend to use in everywhere <laughs> I plan on uh, using him over Tiamat in a lot of PvE and PvP content, so I really want uh, both uh, the extra awakening levels, so past level 10, maybe we'll summon one as well at least, uh, not from the guaranteed one, so I could go to like level 13, uh, as well as of course uh, the book, which you will see in the previous one, on which current bit, not which current bit, which uh, they even summon uh, and you'll see that I discussed the book effect and why the fire one will of course have an, a small advantage over the other ravens in terms of uh, the book levels I'm curious how much this will increase my power as well as currently this team is rocking 358 power if I replace uh, Karambit with Tia Mars on his best runes, I was able to achieve like 365, but I'm just curious to see how much this power goes up for all from the uh, book entries alone. And yeah, uh, 7 light and darks, 15 legendaries, and we'll be getting a transcendence scroll uh, once we summon those as well. Uh, a few colored ones, whatever they're called, and uh, a lot of mystical scrolls. So I'm gonna start with these since uh, these, of course, cannot be. Uh, increased raven chances and I'll probably not think of anything funny to do when we summon an F5 let's go uh, with the amount of scrolls I would like to get uh, not counting the transcendent scroll uh, hopefully two net fives uh, if we can't get that well at least we'll get a fire raven I guess but yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see uh, an ugly nut 5 would be very nice, very nice. Uh, okay, I'll summon those one by one soon. Just wanted to get the 10 times summons out of the way. No nut 5s, nut 4 luck also. Wow, bad. <laughs> no other way to describe it. I'll be skipping through these since uh, I don't want to watch the animation. Water summons amazing for me since I use a lot of water units in my teams. Pixie, another Pixie. Oh, come on. Can we get a third Pixie? Oh. Legend Scroll is ready already. Nice. And last win one. Absolutely nothing. Uh, so let me claim the Legend Scroll from here. Okay, uh, going on to the Raven Summons. So we need 11 from these uh, pieces. So I will be skipping these and I will let the animation play out on the 10 times summons. I really don't expect to get an F5 from these single summons. So eh. we're not losing too much. Ugarud is always nice. I'm mostly looking for water net trees if possible since they will be increasing my power levels the most. Woo! Look at that! And F5, and F4, whatever. Okay, and that's done, nice. Okay, and now the big summons, or a lot of summons. And are there not fives? No not fives. Oh yeah, yeah, not even an F4. I think I'm not used that for now. Mm. Mm -mm. Didn't work. Yeah, I'm not an F4 again. Mm. I like some water lish summons. Yes, I do want some water liches. I do want some wind cats. 
Mm-mm-mm. Because I did build some of those Nat 4s and... Wow! 30 sounds without an F4? Am I right? Um, early Christmas is not treating me well, mate. I mean, hopefully it turns around for the other scrolls or the later scrolls. Maybe we can get a light dark nap four of some sort. A dark owl. Ooh! Hello! I do have the light one. And now I have the dark one as well. Let me see. Is he any good? Okay. Uh. Resistance, the oh, but very low chance, so I'm not even gonna include that. Right heal, uh, proportionate to attack. Uh, I prefer HP since at least you can make him tanky. Attack, attack, attacks the enemy target and transfers all of its harmful effects. Then yeah, removes a harmful effect from the wait, what attacks the enemy target and transfers all of its harmful effects. Transfers where? It's not beneficial effect, so it makes no sense to transfer them. Then removes a harmful effect from nearby allies, excluding its. Uh... Is the description wrong, or am I just. Remove harmful effects? Which skill has that? Okay, so he's, he cleanses one debuff with his third skill. Yeah. On everyone except himself. What does the transfer all harmful effects do? Attacks the enemy target. Uh, let me just uh, do my skill. Uh, attacks the enemy target and transfers all of its harmful effects. Oh! Oh, oh, okay. Uh, so he transfers all harmful effects from himself to the enemy target. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's a bad unit all around. Damn. The live one's definitely better. Well, uh, let's continue then. A little bit disappointing sound, but it's a new summon, so I'm never gonna be mad at a new Nat 4, especially a light and dark one. And it looks like we're continuing the not even a Nat 4 luck. Horrible summons. No Nat 4 again! Wow! Wow, wow, wow. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yes! Yes! Who is it? Come to me if you can. I don't know the text! That was a vampire! Woo! Is he good? Is he good? Is he good? Is he good? Can I access the book from here? No. And we're straight going to. No, I'm not buying anything. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Vampire. Ooh, five skills, Jesus. Okay, host ferocious back to attack the enemy. Cool. Uh, a group of bats attack the enemy target three times, and each hit has a certain chance to apply resistance down. Applies thirst to himself. Uh, resistance down, I'm not a big fan of, since a lot of uh, units that need accuracy are already built with accuracy. Uh, what is thirst? It does not say what thirst is. Um, is it one of the skills? No. What on earth is thirst? Right. I mean, it's not an effect here, so... Okay, cool. Uh, since... Oh, it could be one of those, like... Uh, what are they called? Like when Kina has uh, her little buffs stacking uh, whenever she attacks. It could be that, since I can see that you will need thirst for other abilities. So we'll keep that in mind. Um, sends off where vampire bats to attack up to four enemies within the area and applies frostbite. Uh, applies defense down to nearby enemies by consuming all of the thirst level when the maxes out and applies freeze if the target is frostbitten. So level 3 defense down if you have level 10 thirst and you get thirst from second skill only. Oh, wait, we have to read on. Uh, Lizel with the cursed power applies thirst to itself with a certain chance when its attack critically hits. 25% chance to give one thirst. 
Ooh. So he does need very high attack speed. Okay. And the ultimate summons many groups of bats to attack the enemies within the area and applies frostbite. Makes out oh maxes out thirst level instantly. Thirst is removed when the battle ends. Ooh. So ultimate gives him max thirst, that means you can instantly use this to defense break everyone for 16 seconds. It's a level 3 defense break, 57%. Oh, uh, I mean, he has an interesting kit, but uh, he needs a very hard setup, so I'm not a big fan of it. But I'll definitely test him now when I have some extra devil mode, or maybe when I reset a unit after TOA, just after getting those uh, two the store stones. We'll see, maybe he's kind of used. Yo! Oh! Oh, I know! Wait, 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 wait. No, I can't even summon in these, bro. 10 summons and I already get a new unit. I know he's amazing in that, uh, what's it called? Uh, the new fire dragon raid, right? Yo, let me see. Uh, Endgame King, hopefully. Uh, first skill, attack, cool. Uh, wood vine uh, uses three vines to attack the enemy target. Applies crit damage taken up. That is amazing. In addition, applies root with a certain chance. Uh, crit damage taken up is guaranteed. Nice for 20 seconds as well. So you can just pop him in the soul and slot. Applies attack speed up, precision up, and crit rate up. Oh, and that's gonna be amazing. My bit. Oh, oh, I'll have to use him for sure. I'll for sure have to use. I just have to see if I have skill ups for those no, since I know I skilled him up. Do I have skill ups? Uh, how can I check if I have skill ups? Ah, uh, how do I check if I have skill ups? Yo, I know he's amazing, bro. I know he's amazing. 20, 40. Oh, looks like. Yeah, looks like I'll have to reset Ravit then. Yo, Dark One. Because I know he's used here, right? Uh, at least that's what I've seen in Korea server. Uh, so essentially... Uh, it looks like he's not on the leaderboard here yet. Or maybe it was this one? No, I, I know in Korea they uh, use the Dark uh, Hug very frequently in there. And they get like sub 1 minute runs. So yeah, definitely an amazing unit that I'll have to test out. It's probably the best unit we got today. Uh, hopefully the luck improves even further. Okay, how oh, cool. Of course we're getting the Fire Raven, which I'm the most excited on. Looks like I'm not gonna be getting an extra one from the Mystical Scrolls, unfortunately. Oh, Zinc skill ups. I do like those, uh, as I plan on building Zinc for sure. Any Nath Force, hard skill ups, anything like that. Ooh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Oh, it's in your face! Yo, no, wait, no, it's not skill ups. It's not skill ups. It's a leash, but uh, I would have preferred water one, and if not water one, I would have preferred skill ups or the green or the light one. But I guess it gets out of the way so you can get further skill ups there. A Picium Priest, that's a new Dina. I know she's pretty good, but not as good as uh, the Fire one, I think. And I already have the Fire one built, so that will be kind of useful for getting skill ups in the future. No Nat 5s here. Oh, we do have some expensive scrolls as well. They cost me a whole total of zero dollars, and I am really excited to summon those. And the win one! There's the full collection! Nice! I don't know what the wind one does, but probably nothing amazing. I know in Summoner's War, uh, they, she revives, I believe, and cleanses some debuffs. I don't know how it will work out here. Okay, now some single scrolls left until we get the guaranteed Raven. Fady, 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 fourth Fady, nope. Ah, oh, you speak and you don't get it. I'm lucky. Okay, imp, and the last one. Let us play it out. I'll take a sip. Mm. 
beautiful night we a fady oof it's not a fady and we finally got the column bait nice so I'm stopping the summons there and now we're moving on to let's go to the light and darks as I feel 16 legendaries uh, surely I'll get enough fire right and right after that we'll be selling the transcendence I do have selective summons for three of these uh net fives or rather net fours uh, I don't really mind which ones I get, I mostly need the uh, Water Lich, I would prefer these two, now that I'm thinking of, I'm actually gonna replace him with the Dark one, because that one is for sure better. And for the rest of them, I think I'm keeping it that way. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm keeping it that way. And we're gonna go to the light and dark ones. Uh, I'm gonna let these animations play out. I want at least a nap four. Nap fires would be, I mean, crazy, but I doubt that will happen since I only have a few skulls and they're basically mystical skulls. And that three here, a light harpy. Ooh, uh, you'll see a tier list, and I actually added her as a potentially good unit from the selection summon, so kind of excited to get her as well. Oh, come on, an F4 at least. At least an F4. A Warbear. Every new summon I'm happy about. Because there's just more units to level up for my overall account level. I believe that's two scrolls left. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not an F4. That's not like. Yes, more Zinc skill ups. I'm happy about it, honestly. I'm kind of happy about that, and no death boys either, damn, okay. And now moving to the big boys, oh I also have one from the 30 pieces, nice. I hope I could get two death fires here, but I'll be happy with at least one besides the transcendence call. That will be two death fires from, yes, and if you get five, come on, what is it, what is it? What is burning thirst? Uh, what is that? A fire vampire! Woo! Look at that! Okay, okay. Am I gonna get a wind one as well? Let me see what he does. I know fire is probably the better one than the wind, right? No, this is pioneer. Uh, where's the vampire? Let me see what the people think. 4.9. Oh, I'm excited about that. Oh, damn. He has so many skills. Uh, yeah, so regular attack, decent multiplier, uh, noble agreement, a group of bats attacks the enemy target three times and each hit has a certain chance to apply crit resistance down. Applies third to itself, okay, he has thirst, uh, crit resistance down. Oh, wait. So I'm not sure how that works out for low crit rate units, for example, so if I apply I'll have to read into how exactly that effect works. So, for example, if I have like 50% crit and I apply crit rates down, level 1, would it make my unit do 80% crit chance? I'll have to, I'll have to see since the debuff uh, description here is a bit uh, hard to say. Okay, third skill sends off vampire bats to attack the enemy target, applies attack speed up to itself and recovers its HP based on the damage dealt. Attack speed up, okay, and recovers, so self-healing, applies mana cost down and mana regen speed up to the team's... Oh, mana cost down? And mana regen... Oh, wait, that's amazing! And attack, attack speed up to itself by consuming all the thirst level when thirst maxes out. Uh, okay, decent damage. Uh, gets attack speed up for 16 seconds, but that's to itself, yeah. So when you have 10 thirst, you get level 1 mana cost down. Uh, that means skills cost 1 less mana, right? Yeah. 1 less mana for 16 seconds. And it co Wait, it costs 3 mana? How much does this cost? 3 mana only. Ooh. 1 mana cost? Uh, if Caster has 10 thirst, level 1 mana regen speed, 16 seconds. Wait, so if he's in the soul link slot, say I stack up uh, 10 thirst, right, and I use this skill. Yeah, 
So I'm left with, uh, say I use the third skill at 10 mana, uh, I'm left with 7 after the initial 3 cost. But now that I have 1 mana cost down, uh, both of his skills will be costing 2 mana. So that means I can quickly shoot 5 of these for 2 cost, so that means I only need 10 mana to shoot 5 of these and I instantly have level 10 thirst again. And I can shoot level, yeah, third skill again, and I will still be having the mana regen speed up and the mana cost down from the previous one since it only, since it lasts quite a bit, so 16 seconds. And I will have a improved effect since I will probably stack up to level two, and that means his skills will cost one mana. And then I can quickly stack this, and I can just so. If you have 10 thirst and you shoot the third skill, you can stack up uh, the thirst again like 3 times faster probably, and after you shoot that, you can stack up thirst instantly. Wait, that, that can't be real, right? And he also has 2 more passives, damn. Bird healed boiling blood has a certain type to apply thirst to himself, and he gets thirst. Wait, 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 no, this is broken. This is for sure broken. And the ultimate? Explode? No, no, I, I didn't even do the skill. Level 3 mana cost down for 20 seconds? But his skills cost 3 mana. Wait, so... Wait, am I reading this right? His skills then are free? Alright boys, <laughs> all I'm gonna say is, uh, we're testing him out and we're definitely making a video on it. Holy shit, that looks amazing! So say he just sits in the back line of your team, uh, once you have uh, the ultimate stacked up, you quickly switch him to the souling slot, you use his ultimate and his abilities become free for 20 seconds? Cause that, that can't be right. What? Unless there is some kind of a hard cap on the skill cost, or maybe like one 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 mana cost is the minimum amount. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing like. Damn. Okay. Okay. I the day got better. <laughs> Wait. Oh, actually, I should have. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna switch Theo for the fire. Oh, I like it. Oh no, I got her so I can't switch. Wait, no, no, no. She's an F4, so I can switch an F5s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna switch Theo since I plan on using Kara a bit more than him. And I definitely want to get a core piece of this guy. Yo, that looked insane. If I'm reading that right, that looks insane. Holy shit. As a man, okay, one more nap five would be nice. The odds should give me one more nap five, so we'll see. A lovely sip of tea for a lovely nap five. I say, hey, look at that. Who is this? No one can stop you. I have zero clue who you are. Uh, oh, hello, Jewel. I already have him. Hmm. Uh, you know my opinion on nat fives, and that is that skill ups are always better than a new nat five. So definitely not mad at it. Uh, okay, not bad, not bad. A lovely sip of tea landed me a lovely nat five skill up, and I say we take another sip. Nah, come on, we can't, we can't repeat the magic here. That's a one-time thing. <laughs> nah, I could. could I ask for better summons at this point? Come on, lads. 20. Oh, that's instant two awakening pieces. Like two awakening levels as well. Oh, this is amazing. This is the best Christmas. Why is he in my blessing? I never use him. This is the best early Christmas ever. And it's not even Christmas. It's not even close to Christmas, actually. 10 days away. And yeah, I can see I already have the Transcendent Scroll. Uh, let us take a bite. A sandwich bite of luck, I say. Ooh, how? I do need him. 
How many do I have left? Five, okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Fire werewolf, cool. Oh, if I could get busted. I kind of want to bust that skill up. Hog, nice pieces. Mm -hmm. Let us do another summoning ritual. The apple throw of luck. Yes. Do we get it? No, we don't. I heard apples are useful for you. That didn't seem too much use for me. Mm. Damn, not bad, not bad, not bad. And to finish it off, we have a Transcendent Summon. What are the rates of these? This is the first Transcendent I'm summoning. I know it's on the path, Light and Darks is 0 0.01. Oh, damn, okay. <laughs> so I'm not expecting to get that. Uh, and for example, Bastet, 14%, nice. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a Disappear of Summon. Uh -oh. Oh, is it any good? Who's that? Is that mermaid? She good? <laughs> what does she do? Uh, yeah, I'm not buying. Wait, let me see. What does she do? I've never seen any mermaids be used. I heard mermaids are really underrated. Not, no, not underrated, but rather. What they call weak, just weak. Foam, oh, oh, that spark doesn't look good. And I see a lot of people saying that they should have been net falls with the skills they have. Oh, it's Cichlid! Oh, I like her in someone's old card, you know? Maybe she's good there. Uh, they go attack, okay, that's a lot of them. Egg shield applies shield and defense up to the tower target, that moves defense down, the target has the effect. Oh, only defense down? Oh, that sucks. They should have given her a, a any debuff or cleanse, like in the main game. 30% of its max HP shield? That's weak. I think Bastet even has a stronger shield, right? Cursed Mind. Uh, pops a water drop to attack the enemy target and applies defense down and recover. That's a third skill? Really? Wow, she's bad. Pops a water drop to attack enemies within the area and applies irresistible death down. Unrecoverable and block shield. Wait, shouldn't that be her third skill according to the main game? Because I know her third skill strips, uh, defense breaks, and some other effect. Why is it in the ultimate? And why is her third skill so useless? It doesn't even strip. So it gives 20 second debuffs. So like yeah, you if you place her in any other slot, she will be able to upkeep defense break and other combo permanently. But mm. wait, let me see. So I don't like her second skill like at all. That's the that's the main problem I have with her. It's like her third skill could be decent-ish for bosses, but her second skill is just horrible. It's single target, it only cleanses one debuff, so for example if I wanted to use him for... My first thought was to use him in expeditions for that uh, Light Shurikli guy, uh, since he usually heals a lot and for example if I could give him a permanent unrecoverable, it would be way easier to kill. But then I would like to cleanse the electric shock and this only cleanses defense break. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, her ultimate blocks beneficial effects at least. Wow, so she's so she's a PVE only unit, and she only works with her ultimate. A little disappointing there, I have to say, but yeah. Overall, oh, this session, boys. Mm. 
a fire vampire. I'm so excited to test him. A, a dark hog as well. Oh, just to decap what we got. Yeah, so we got three nat fives, two vampires, and mermaid. We got a fire glitch that's new, a light uh, harpy that's new, a Picium Priest, this guy, and some LD units. This guy I'm so excited about. And I can already see he has. 20 skill up so he can go straight to awakening level 11 I'm definitely gonna be building him he looks amazing with this guy and yeah hope you enjoyed uh, these special Christmas summons uh, hope you get even better luck than I do uh, but definitely get that with fire vampire I'm telling you he looks broken and yeah, uh, see you in the next one someday, another day, we'll see.